when she's crawling up out of the well and crawling out of the TV, it was so much worse mm. than what I had imagined that it was, I, it, it just terrified me. And I, I was, I, now looking back, I can say, such a well-crafted horror film. But, but that night you couldn't, I couldn't sleep. You were paralyzed the worst. <sighs> Marinating in your shame. Marinating right? in my shame. <laughs> Tell, give us a story when you were most like absolutely terrified by a movie. Okay, the one that comes to mind is um, you guys remember Stephen King's It? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. So again, I was I'm the complete opposite of you. Like I tried to read the book, but it was like just way too many words for oh. me at that point, and so I just stopped after like page thirty. But they made oh, a mini series. Right. Yeah. They made a TV miniseries, and this was weird. Like, like John Ritter in that? John Ritter's Tim in it. Curry. Uh, oh. Uh, what's his name? John Boy from the Waltons is in it. Like it's it's where Tim Curry plays Pennywise. So, like, it was I have like <laughs> <laughs> I have like a three and a half hour TV movie memorized when I was a kid. So one night, my buddies and I decided to watch it. We were probably like fifteen years old, and my sister lived in a house at the time, and it had like an unfinished upstairs. <laughs> so we decided to watch the the movie, and then that it would be a good idea to play some kind of like alternative form of hide and seek um, where we forced the seeker to go into this pitch black entire <laughs> upstairs floor and, and this is now like almost 20 years ago and we still talk about it when it comes up but we remember this and, uh, and we were just all so terrified so what happened was the, the, the two guys ran off and hid uh, and we had got inside our own minds so much that the person who was seeking and the two people who were hiding, we were all equally terrified. <laughs> and so, <laughs> finally, I just heard a voice from the dark, and it was like, I'm done. And we all just, like, came out. We couldn't even, like, stand to be in the black. <laughs> Pointing to each other, weeping. <laughs> and, and it is, like, on the all-time list, not a scary movie. We used to watch it and laugh. And the ending is completely ridiculous. Spider monster. Spider, spoiler. But it, that was just... Uh, spoiler. Spoiler. Uh, how about you, Dara? What's, uh, what's the scariest First of all, movie? I have to defend. The spider monster is way scarier in the book. That's all I'll say. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, scariest, battery acid. <laughs> scariest moment of my entire life was immediately following my first viewing of The Ring. So the Japanese ring. horror. The ring. Wait, Japanese? The American, no, the American version came American out in version. theaters. Not Ringu. Not Ringu. Uh, so I went with two of my buddies, and uh, so it was me, a buddy, uh, my roommate, and then his girlfriend. So there were four of us that went. Uh, and because we were in college, I was a senior in college, I was a couple of months away from graduation, for no good reason other than that we could, we had four TVs in our living room all hooked up to broadcast the same thing, like, so you can sit wherever you want in our living room and watch it, <laughs> so it's super fun. So, my buddy and I raced back to my house and we turned all of the TVs onto static, which, if you've seen the film, you know is the absolutely <laughs> horrifying thing that happens when TVs go to static, and then we went and hid. And so when my roommate and his girlfriend came home, they opened the door and all the all four TVs were on static in the living room, and she wouldn't enter the house until they were all off and all the lights were on, and we uh, got a good laugh out of it, and then I went to bed. So I'm 22, <laughs> I'm months away from entering the real world and becoming a full-fledged adult. You're an adult. And I'm lying in my bed, and I'm looking at my closet, and 49% of my brain is saying, you are a grown man. <laughs> you are acting like a child. Go to sleep and quit being a baby. You're embarrassing yourself. And the other 51% of my brain was like, If you go to sleep, she will come out of the closet and eat you! She will eat you tonight! So, no lie, I was awake until 4.30 in the morning, just like staring at my closet, completely petrified. And, and at the same time, like, like, Basking, marinated in my shame. <laughs> like shame and fear. Status and update. Like, oh. Jr. is marinating in my shame. <laughs> it was the worst. Classic. Ever. So that's good. Oh, that is man. good. Okay, so here's a story. It's not really. It's about me, sort of. It's not when I was terrified. Did you say Tommy Lasorda. No, I said about me, oh. sort of. Okay, check this out. We watched we watched The Exorcist in my dorm yes. when I was in college, obviously, and uh, we had a co-ed dorm, and so after The Exorcist, 
which, if you haven't seen the movie... <laughs> spoiler! <laughs> this isn't a spoiler, but there's someone who's possessed, and there's a lot of possession scenes on a bed, like flying, they have her tied to a bed. spinning, yeah. and tied to a bed. So anyway, my friend Imran and I went and snuck under these two girls' beds <laughs> after the movie, so they didn't know we were in there, and they were off getting ready for bed and whatever, and they came, and we just waited there forever. We waited, they came in, they laid down, they're talking to each other for a while, which, you know, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> as, as, an adult, right? as, an, as an adult, it sounds really creepy, we're but as an adult, it, it, it seemed, it like, sense, yeah. seemed like a good idea. It was so funny. And we just lay there, and the girl who was laying in the bed above me, her name was Van, just this little Vietnamese girl, and uh, when they, they finally they were like, good night, good night, you know, just sweet little moment, roommates <laughs> saying good night to each other, and we counted to like 50, and we grabbed the beds and started shaking like this, and Van starts screaming, and she starts screaming, I'm possessed by the devil, I'm possessed by the devil, and uh, yeah. That was it. That's that was terrible. a special moment. <laughs> That's so terrible. So that was the last night you were friends with them? Is that... No, no, because they wanted to get us back, so they okay. pretended to still love us for a while. <laughs> they put up with a lot from us. Wow. Okay, so we talk about how we were scared, and you talk about how you're the worst human in college history. <laughs> well, and guys, I just wanted to say, you know, I'm staying here at the house with you tonight. And, uh, <laughs> I'm possessed. I'm possessed by the devil. Yeah, I'm turning the TV on to <laughs> static, and I'm weep. grabbing several butcher knives, and I'm getting a spider monster. I will oh, weep man. like a small child. <laughs> I think it would be fun to hear like what other people's scariest memories are and scariest yeah. times, if we could somehow set that up. I think yeah, that would be really to fun share that with us. Send in your With the universe, moments. share your shameful... And uh, the best moments. story, I think, we'll send JR's television. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>